This is a look at the Tonyon Combination Bike Lock. It's approximately 90 centimetres long. It has a very good tough, highly visual combination lock here with five digits rather than just the three or four that some locks have. So obviously going to be harder to guess the combination. I'll also point out that if you know how to pick these locks, this is actually quite a difficult one to pick. I'm quite used to using this sort of lock and I failed to pick this one so that gives me quite a bit of optimism in terms of security. I've also been using it for six weeks and I've still got my bike so that saves a lot in itself too. So this is the lock, it has approximately a 20 millimeter chain loop which is covered in this heavy duty nylon fabric which means that you can sling it around your bike frame and it isn't going to cause any damage at all. Also, this is plastic. So again, if this touches the bike frame or rubs against it, being plastic, it isn't going to scratch, unlike, say, a metal wood. The lock is resettable. It's supplied preset to 0000. And if you want to change the number, simply turn the barrel like so. Choose your number but now make sure you note down what your new chosen number is because once you turn that barrel back it's locked and then there's no way of guessing it unless you go through all the combinations. So I'm going to turn it back to the zero zeros now and then what you would do now is turn it back to lock the new chosen number which in my case I've left at zero. So it's a good, strong and tough lock. It's quick and easy to fit. If you're leaving your bike just for a few minutes, for example, and you think, oh, I just can't be bothered using a lock. Well, this takes literally just a few seconds to fit around the wheel and the frame. And ideally, if there's a post as well, it's best to fix the bike to a removable object. See, that took literally just a few seconds to fit. So there's no excuse for not using it. Similarly, to remove it, just switch the numbers back and lift out the lock. So very, very quick and easy to use and a lot quicker and easier to use than some of those locks with a key, where you also have to make sure you don't lose the key, because if you do, you're going to be stuck. Whereas with a nice combination lock like this, all you have to do is remember the number and you can easily jot that down inside a helmet, for example, so you'll never forget it. So, without a doubt, this is definitely a lock that I would recommend, particularly in a low risk or medium risk area. If you're in a high risk area, it is better to use a bronze, silver or gold sole secure lock, which would go around the rear frame and the wheel and to a post. But then you can link this one in as well, which will go around the front wheel and frame, for example, for that additional bit of security. It's a good visual deterrent. It's not one that I would use in a high risk area because it would be possible for someone with professional cutters to cut through this or a real pro to work out the combination. So it's not going to be as secure ever as a lock with a key, but it is a very good, quick and easy lock to use, which I have been using for the last six weeks and I still have my bike, so that says a lot for it. So a lock that I would recommend for quick and easy use, Tonyon.